G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Well today we're going to show you how we went from this to this and how we almost lost the dam. During late 2021, early 2022, we had significant rainfall like other parts of Australia. Oz Geographics, which is a YouTube channel, indicates that they thought it was related to the Tongan eruption and I'll leave the link below for you to have a look at. It's quite an interesting article. However, how it affected us is that this being one of our main dams, it filled and kept filling and kept filling and kept filling. And the dam originally had been designed as a flat dam. The wall was flat. When it rained and the dam flooded, the water went across the entire dam wall, which isn't uh, a great way to design a dam. You'll see later in the video that uh, we've designed or redesigned this dam so it now filters off in one way when we get normal rainfall or when we have significant events, it filters off in two different ways to try and uh, mitigate erosion and control the flow of that water. So back to the issue, we had so much rain here that we were trying to empty this dam on an ongoing basis. We'd set up a 90 mil downpipe connected six in a row to feed from the water across the existing flat dam wall and then down to where the water exits. And we'd filled that up and we were siphoning water out and it was coming into the inflow. So filling the dam faster than we could get it out. And that was running for weeks. We then decided that we'll have four of those. So we had four of those set up trying to drain the water out. And again, we couldn't keep up with it. So in the end, we addressed some of the erosion quickly. And you could see from these photos that um, the water was washing out large sections of the wall. And there was every likelihood that the entire wall would collapse. And we'd watch all of that soil disappear down downstream onto someone else's block and then ultimately ended up into a river system. Obviously that's not great for the environment and it's certainly not great for our pocket. So we were quite concerned about the outcome and we brought in some rock in the front of the uh, Mahindra. We started trying to make up a bed of where the water would flow. And we also put some concrete bags down, some quick set concrete down to try and create a, an area where the water would hit that area, break up the flow of water and perhaps slow it down or at least take some of the energy out so it wouldn't erode so badly. But of course the rain kept coming and that issue got worse and worse and worse. Now fortunately, we had a break in the weather. We were able to get in quite a large excavator. I think it might've been about a 22 ton excavator and uh, do some work for us and turn the dam wall into what we have here today. Towards the end of the video, I'll describe the costs associated with doing this particular piece of work. But uh, the outcome has been pretty good, but ongoing work to make sure that this dam stays solid because it is the type of soil that will happily erode. So after we'd had the large excavator here, rebuilding the dam wall, we dug quite a large section of the soil from the other side of the dam to build this side of the dam up so we could help direct the water. All that was packed in, it rolled, he rolled that excavator um, across it, goodness knows, um, maybe a hundred times and um, really packed it in nicely. The rain continued after that. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not we didn't have enough time for it to settle down, but we then developed another issue, which was in this area here. You can see from the photos that for whatever reason, the soil is quite soluble, as I indicated earlier, and water seeped into this area, went underground, and we couldn't see that, and then exited on the other side of the dam. It essentially created its own spillway. The problem with that though, was that as water was flowing through it, it was making that hole bigger and bigger and bigger. And in the end, it was big enough for, you know, a couple of humans to fit in there at one time. It was quite a large hole. So we had to bring the excavator back. We had to get them to dig out this entire area and then repack that area down as hard as possible to uh, make sure that, that it's essentially squashed and it's like one big plug. 
Now what we've noticed uh, since that work was done, and that's done now over a year ago, is that in big events, as I said before, water will flow this way. And in some instances, what's happened is some water has come here and sat here and it's got a bit soggy. So having this low area here is going to be a problem. And this is going to be a, another piece of work that I'll do with this dam. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet, but obviously we need to uh, regenerate this area to make sure that we get good grass growth over here. And we also don't want it so low that water will continue to sit here because plants won't survive in that and we'll end up with this situation again. Again, another project that we've got on here is that we're going to utilize this land that hasn't actually had cattle on here for over three years. We'll be putting a fence right along the side of the waterway. Again, another principle of regen farming is to not allow your cattle into static water supplies like this. They tend to erode, and erode the edges and then contaminate the water. And uh, the last thing you want to do is introduce erosion. So once we've got the fence in, the fence is going to go from um, that way all the way to that way. And that means we'll get some use out of this land while still fulfilling what we believe are our obligations to protect the environment. Now, when you look back at those photos of after the excavator went through here, this was just a bare area. So we went through and by hand, flicked out some seed, which was uh, predominantly Rhodes grass. And you can see the take up has been excellent. I mean, there's, there's quite large areas now that have uh, good grass cover and that will help give that, uh, that barrier, that armor, if you like, to stop erosion. And also it keeps the plants nice and healthy, keeps them cooler. So they're not dehydrating so quickly when the weather does dry out. There of course are some areas that we haven't had uh, take up, but with these seeds on board of these particular plants, they'll hopefully germinate these areas. And if they don't, we'll give them a helping hand uh, with some uh, additional seed. So as is happening on the other side of the dam, this part of the spillway was uh, cleared out by the excavator and water was flowing through here but the soil wasn't strong enough to withstand the impact of the water going over it continually. So we could see that it was starting to erode. So we introduced some rock, as you can see, and it has packed in quite nicely. And you can even see that the grass now is integrating with that rock to hold it in place. And our hope is that uh, any future water flows through here will be slowed down by the rock. The energy, be, the energy will be distributed so that it doesn't cause any damage and we can still exit the water out of here without losing any topsoil. And now onto the costs. Well, the excavator was about $2,000 for the day. The seed was about $15 a kilo and I think we put about five kilos of seed down around this area and, and it's largely been a success. You can see that there's plenty of grass growing, but of course there are some areas that we didn't get take up and we need to address. So. Areas like this, for example, we'll need to come back here, scrape the ground up a bit, throw some of that Rhodes grass seed down, and uh, hopefully we'll catch it next time. The idea is to take away any of the bare soil that you have around these, these dams, or in fact anywhere around your, your farm, to, uh, to keep the ground healthy and to avoid that um, horrible thing called erosion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed us taking you on this journey of trials and tribulations of owning a farm, particularly when it comes to water moving. If you like this sort of content, you're doing me a big favour by liking this video and subscribing. I lost it. <laughs> there it is. Please like and subscribe.